If you had told me a year ago we would be on our property building a garage door in the snow, I would have laughed at you. This is crazy. We're Courtney and Riley Casey. After spending almost three months building the truck camper of our dreams, we sold our tiny house and hit the road to ski, mountain bike, and take our first vacation in five years. After months of travel, we fell in love with North Idaho and bought 20 acres of raw off-grid land. Follow along as we live full-time in a truck camper and build our dream barn dominium. Our first snow at the new property. I think it's gonna be a cold winter. Guess what, babe? There's snow on the ground. Ooh, how much? I was gonna go back to sleep, but I can't now. How much snow? How much snow? <laughs> like, an almost visible amount. <laughs> it's our first snow! There's snow moon. <laughs> yeah, it's not inside our building. <laughs> I don't see any snow. It's not inside the building. With the drastic change in weather, we're shifting our focus onto a different project. We need to get this building sealed up and weather tight so we can survive this winter. You've seen me design a lot of stuff using the computer in SolidWorks, but I don't have that computer up here, and so we're going old school on regular old graph paper. One of the goals of this project is just kind of try to show what's possible with very limited tools and equipment. No, get off the window. <laughs> what you got on? I am ready. Ooh, it's actually pretty nice. Oh, it snowed again. It snowed last night. Frost. Was how, how do you tell the difference? It's frost. Oh, it frosted last night. <laughs> it's gonna be a good day. I'm super excited. Um, and I have, I don't have all my layers on. I still have more tricks up my sleeve when it gets colder. It is time to start our next big project on the property. You may have noticed the giant hole in the building behind me. We're gonna fix that. We got quotes on just ordering an insulated roll-up door, a metal one, um, and it was about $3,000. And we decided that we thought it would be a really fun project to try to build something better and cooler for hopefully about the same price. So, we got a bunch of material yesterday, and we'll see what we can make happen. The, the vision is like a bifold airplane hangar door made out of raw steel that's gonna rust. And uh, we're gonna figure this out as we go. All right, let's get started. The goal with this project is to build something with materials that we could get in stock in town. So we're getting a little bit resourceful and step one is to see if we can take this window apart and harvest the glass panes. I have never taken a vinyl window apart, but a brief reading online shows that I think all we have to do is like pull some of the plastic pieces out and cut uh, some silicone caulking. That's it. That's all we got to do. <laughs> it looks like this particular window is like double sticky taped in. So now we just need to figure out some way to basically cut that tape in half and we can pull the glass out. This tool is four bucks at Harbor Freight. It's a windshield removal tool, and we're gonna see if this works. Okay, go like that. Ooh, that's working. Huh. I think so. Ooh. Almost there. Getting the, the final size of our glass was the last step towards this design. So now that we've got all the dimensions figured out, it's time to build the frames. So the gist of the plan is to build two steel frames that are hinged in between each other so that our door will roll up like this. Let's see if we can pull it off. 
powered off the inverter in the camper. It's a giant chunk. Where is it? I don't see any mud on your face. Oh, Bradley just kicked a massive mud ball like into my mouth. <laughs> the joys of working in the mud. That was dangerous. Yeah. Why don't we just spin it over so you're not doing that? Just about through. I'd like to take a minute to thank Ronin Factory for sponsoring this video. Ronin Factory is an online store where every dollar you spend enters you to win a custom Ford Raptor. They partner with amazing charities and have given away over $2.5 million in the last two years. They're currently giving away a custom pearl white wide body Ford Raptor plus $20,000 cash. With upgrades like Baja Designs lights and 40 inch Toyo tires, it is the perfect vehicle for an epic winter adventure. Their current giveaway is benefiting an amazing organization, Meals on Wheels. Meals on Wheels is a nonprofit that delivers food, care, and compassion to seniors living alone. Their goal is to support seniors and extend their independence as they age. And what better time to support this organization than during the holidays? Ronin Factory store is stocked with clothing, truck accessories, and other awesome gifts. But time is running out as the current giveaway ends December 26th. Head to the link below to start shopping and make sure to use the code AMBITIONSTRIKES for 10% off your order. And thanks again to Ronin Factory for sponsoring this video. So the only place on this entire property that's big enough and flat enough to weld this together is up here. <laughs> so we're gonna pass the pieces up there, haul our little welder up there, <laughs> weld the pieces together up there in the apartment and then bring them back down. <laughs> Drop it. Nice job. Now we see if we can use the little 110 volt flux core welder powered off the truck's inverter to <laughs> weld this together. Off grid welding. This is Courtney's welding helmet. It is way nicer than mine. It is not scratched and I need to keep it that way. This is a 100 amp, 110 volt flux core welder. It's flux core wire only. This is like the simplest, least expensive welder you could possibly own, but it's great for this kind of stuff because it doesn't take a lot of power and it's really convenient and compact. You're ready to booger these together? I'll certainly try. The good news is that it actually works on our inverter in the camper. I cannot believe we're welding with our camper's battery system. <laughs> if you're interested in some energy products, we do have a code that is ambition10. Now that we have this thing pretty well tacked together, we're gonna lower it back downstairs so we can minimize the amount of welding that we do on our wood floored apartment. What's the plan? <sighs> um, it's probably to shift your end off the edge. Yep, just my, like that. Don't drop this on my truck I won't. camper. I won't. I think you need to go down there now and help me guide it. What? So I don't hit the truck.
Not bad. Three o'clock and it's already getting dark and definitely oh getting cold. Oh my gosh. But so far, this has been a great success. The welder is working way better than I remember it. I've only used this thing a yeah. couple of times. Like his, the welds actually look really good. So the next step is gonna be to skin this whole thing with sheet metal and then start tracing out for the window cutouts. daylight i think we're going to try to keep working a little bit longer tonight and we will see you guys tomorrow hopefully by the end of tomorrow the entire garage door is done and installed i think it's a little ambitious it's another chilly chilly day but I think we are gonna make some good progress on this door today, which I am very excited about. Hoping by the end of the day to have at least this top piece hung and make sure that proof of concept, everything's gonna work. The forecast tonight is like two to five inches of snow. So we might get to test the snow Verlander tomorrow. Super pumped for our first snow. I know that like maybe we shouldn't be wishing for so much snow because there's gonna be a lot of snow this winter, but I'm really excited for that first snow. But we should probably get a door done. Let's get to work. openings for our windows. We have four windows total. Two of them will be going in this panel. Measure seven times, cut once. Going up 21 and a half and 61 and an eighth. Now you're using this inch and a half flat bar to trim out the window openings and make everything have a nice finished look. I'm so excited for this step because this is, this means we're almost ready to hang it. This clamp said it was too cold. It's quitting and it broke the plastic out. like our Mad Max airplane door. Gordon and I stopped for a quick lunch break. I walked outside, unexpected change of weather. First snow at the property. Oh 
Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's like, it's snowing. Okay. It's snowing. We moved to Idaho where it snows. Can't take the California out of the kid, but you can take the kid out of the California. Is that? Is that what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> All right, we're gonna try to keep working, get this door up, because this is only the beginning. Halfway there on this project. We're about to find out how heavy this thing is because we need to flip it over so that Riley can weld the backside. Oh! I left you a note. I like my note. <laughs> And that is not a pun because it's freezing and snowing. <laughs> it just looks really cool. How do we get it? Can I just go <laughs> throw it up? Pulleys and a rope, and we're gonna pulleys! <laughs> you guys get to watch. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. The internet says no. What do you think? Are you guys excited to watch us use pulleys to lift this into place just like we did the windows? <laughs> Rookie move, Riley. I let go of the spool and ended up with a big mess. I think I'm glad we're working on our door right now. <laughs> we're looking forward to getting a heater or a wood stove going in this shop, but before that's gonna be effective, we need to seal up the giant hole and get some insulation done. We have no idea if this door design is gonna work. Um, we're feeling optimistic at this point, um, but there's only one way to find out. So you'll have to make sure to stay tuned for part two of building this door. And thank you guys so much for supporting the channel. The easiest way for you to support the channel is just to make sure that you are subscribed and maybe drop a comment every once in a while if you're enjoying what we're doing. Or if you're not, you can tell us that too. If you want to see some exclusive content, go check us out on Patreon where Courtney makes special blog posts and gives some insight into what we're up to. And we're going to get back to work. Back to it. <laughs> snow than they said was going to be here. Oh my gosh.